I'm part of the uh, Africa section uh, and on Afri Africa section one of the animals we work with is the hyenas and we've got a special treat for the hyenas today and uh, we're going to be putting out some smelly poo in their enclosure. Now you might not think this is a special treat for our hyenas but it really is because they're uh, really driven by their sense of smell. So out in the wild they've actually been known um, to track scent for four miles up to a carcass um, so just as we're in the enclosure now, I can see them in the background sniffing away, very excited to come out uh, and see what we're doing. So this is scent enrichment, but you can do many different kinds uh, of enrichment. Uh, so you can do something that's visual, so we might blow, blow bubbles to the hyenas in the enclosure. Uh, for our monkeys, we might put up um, a mirror. Um, we can do tactile sort of enrichment, so we've done jelly before again with our, our monkeys. They like to come and explore um, the jelly. Um, we can do sound as well, introduce different sounds to our animals um, and this is the scent one that we're going to do today. So we have some elephant poo, which is quite smelly. If you've ever been in the elephant house, you'll appreciate how smelly that is. Obviously, obviously this is something that the hyenas uh, would uh, incorporate out in the wild, you know, they would smell this out in the wild. Uh, we have otter poo. Now otter poo is very, very strong smelling. Um, so I personally think this is going to be the favourite of our hyenas and we also have in this black bag some warthog poo um, that I've collected fresh this morning. Uh, now when the hyenas come out, hopefully they're going to sniff the poo um, and then if they choose they like it, they'll often roll in it. Uh, now this is quite an interesting behaviour if you've got a dog yourself at home, you'll have probably seen your dog do this if it discovers some fox poo uh, or cow poo. Um, and there's many different sort of suggestions why animals do do this. Um, one is to cover their own scent with something stronger than themselves. Um, another is almost like um, a postcard. They will roll in a poo and then go back to their uh, clan out in the wild and their clan will then know where they've been and what they've experienced. Um, so there is di different, uh, different reasons that they, they might interact this way. Uh, and any, every animal has its own preference. So again, if you've ever been visited our zoo, uh, the Amal Tiger, uh, Igor, his favourite smell is expensive perfume. He's not interested in the cheaper stuff, but it's definitely expensive stuff he likes, so he'll draw and he'll roll on it. Um, the leopards I've worked with previously, they've really enjoyed coffee powder. Um, and, and again, one of our, one of our female tigers really enjoy, enjoys Marmite. Uh, so again, it's very different, uh, different preferences for different animals. So let's go out and put some poo out. So we do have three hyenas with us. So I'm gonna uh, space the poo out so they can experience each one separately. So that's the elephant one over there. This is the walk dog. And if you've ever watched Lion King, uh, you'll know Pumbaa is quite a smelly animal, so what hopper is quite strong smelling as well. Um, and then we'll put the otter poo over here. And with the otter poo, obviously otters have a very heavy fish diet, so you'll see there's lots of scales in there. Quite a slimy poo, um, but I do think this is going to be uh, the hyena's favourite because it is the strongest smelling. So we'll wait and see. Maybe you can guess what the hyenas are going to enjoy the most.
the winner. Like I said, it was the strongest smelling poo. So all three of our hyenas have enjoyed rolling around in it. Now you might wonder why the, you saw the hyenas going over uh, and eating the other two um, poos we did put out there from the elephant and the warthog. Well, this is just a different way for them to explore the different and uh, novel uh, item that we put out there. Uh, but also if you imagine out in the wild when they do make a kill, uh, either of a warthog uh, or an elephant, they would eat the entire animal. So hyenas actually have a very impressive jaws, so they can apply over 300 pounds of pressure uh, per square inch. So they're capable of eating entire an entire animals. So that includes their fur, uh, their teeth, their hoofs, uh, and their antlers as well. And also it means they would eat all the insides of the animal. Obviously inside the animal you would find poo as well. So this will not uh, harm our hyenas at all. This is something that they'd naturally encounter uh, out in the wild. I hope you've enjoyed coming along uh, and seeing that hyenas enjoying their enrichment. I hope you love them a little bit more than uh, you did before. People often have a quite a negative association with uh, hyenas but they're actually a very very cool interesting species and I hope you can uh, just see what we've done there uh, and get to know them a little bit more. Thank you so much for all the support uh, and watching all the videos that we're putting out there. We've got a lot more to come so please stay tuned uh, and stay safe.